This one was on Kickstarter. We talked about it on the show. And it was, I, I bought it at Gen Con last year. I didn't back it, actually. I bought it at Gen Con. And I finally tried it out. It's a one to four player, solely cooperative game. There is no competitive mode in this. You're all playing as different goonies. There's five different locations. And each one has item cards that have combinations of or items on them <laughs> that you need to play to get rid of them. It's a little confusing. So basically, there's like five different types of items. So let's say there's a key card in front of the thing. In the top corner, there might be a doubloon symbol. What that means is you have to play a doubloon symbol to get rid of that card. Okay. So the items sort of have two purposes. They can be obstacles or items in your hand. Okay. So once an area is cleared of obstacles, you can search it for a treasure. And if you get a treasure, if you find the treasure, that's one step closer to winning. Otherwise, there could be traps in there that hurt you. And what's also interesting about this, it's you don't take turns individually. Everybody plays, everybody, there are four actions for the whole group. So, uh, so you might need three cards to do something, so you have to say who has this card, who has that card. In terms of the spirit of the game, the feel of the game, I would definitely compare it to Pandemic and Forbidden Island, Forbidden Desert. Okay. Very much like that kind of thing where after, at the end of each turn, new obstacles come out. You have to go around and try to manage because if this gets too many, you lose. And, but, so you, you, know, you, you want to work together, but you can't take it too slow. Right. I will say it's a little more forgiving timer-wise than Pandemic. There isn't, the only real timer is if there's a main deck if, right. if that runs out. Um, no, because uh, I, I was thinking because you mentioned Forbidden Island and that. Sh right, definitely. I mean, you can die on the first turn, <laughs> well, hypothetically. Well, that is, that's the thing. Even though it may be more forgiving in that sense, it is not forgiving. <laughs> so I, I've actually played, I did the solo. Yeah, you saying it's more forgiving, though, it's a low bar to beat. <laughs> I've, I've played three times solo only. I only won the last game. And the first two were, kind of, were pretty rough. It is very challenging, uh, which is good. I think part of it is... In solo, you, you have a character card and everybody has a special ability. Mm -hmm. So the real big challenge for, that I can see as solo is you only get one special ability, whereas with three or four people, you have four together. Right, exactly. Um, so I think that will make be a big help in playing it with people. Uh, but it was a lot of fun. It is very puzzly. It is not super... Like, it, it's, not the, it's not a fantasy flight kind of thing where... It, it doesn't feel fully like you're immersed in the world of the Goonies. I was actually just about to ask you how do you feel in terms of, because like, I barely remember the Goonies. But I know <laughs> you, it, it's a much bigger deal for you. It's, I mean, it does a good job. Like, you're going to play it. It's going to be, you're going to be like, oh, I'm, I'm Chunk, I'm whoever, and oh, we're going to this place, remember? But ultimately, you're going to, it's going to boil down to saying, do you have uh, doubloon cards? No, I don't. All right, uh, we got to do this to get more cards. So it it could have gone a little further for for theme, but it's not it's not as bad as like we've played the lock and key card game where it was really no amount of effort uh, went into well, that theme. I will say this too, I think of those. Let's take the Goonies and Lock and Key. If there's <laughs> one where we really wanted someone to to go right, dive, right, dive right, down right. the well into the story. Pun sort of intended, it's Lock and Key. The Goonies is, it's a family-friendly movie that a lot of people remember from the 80s, from their childhood. So I think, I think it makes sense you want it to be more of an entry level. Right, and I think that's a good thing because odds are, I think we're going to have, I mean, I assume that if I had kids later in the future, I'm going to still show them my kid movies from the, <laughs> like, the, you know, 80, 90 yeah, yeah, period. Yeah, for sure. So then if you're able to pull this out then, you know, that'd be really cool. And I would like to know, uh, you can't see on the TV because it's blocking it, but I'm sure you put up an image. When it shows the player count, it does show actually, you know. Um, <laughs> it actually says one, one to four Goonies. Is yeah, but also player. like the symbol, I mean. It it look, shows, yeah, it shows the, you actually get a little meeple that has the sloth and the gang yeah. following So, it. I mean, it's nice to have the little things in there too. No, if... If you like the Goonies, I, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, this is better than the Blu-ray game you got. It's better than the Blu-ray <laughs> game. That was just just a roll and move, very simple, very generic. This does feel, like I said, very easy to compare to Forbidden Island and Desert. If you, I would say, if you like the Goonies and you don't have one of those games, it's a good buy. It definitely, like, if you already play, have that co-op 
gateway game, and you it, maybe you don't need that niche filled quite again. But maybe you have friends who are big Goonies fans or something. Or, it is a solid or like, game. And like we said, if you're planning already have like young kids, that might be the perfect game because then showing them and them playing this would I think would be a very fun. Yeah. Aspect. Unfortunately, I'm the bad parent who's going to show them Alien and then play the Alien deck building game. <laughs> yeah, that's no good. You don't want to be that guy. Um, don't be Will. And don't be afraid of the of lack of challenge because that's trust me, it's there. So that that's the Goonies. You can you can look for that.